What's going on everybody? It's your boy Danny the Bull and I'm back with another video for my Omi homies. So yesterday we got some breaking news, a brand new partnership between Vivi and Alibaba, one of the biggest companies in the world. They are the Amazon of China. In this video I'm going to break it down what I think it means. Is this the biggest partnership in the history of Vivi? Does it represent a seismic shift in things to come? Or is it going to be a little underwhelming? There's a lot to talk about as always. I'll give you my objective analysis. Like and subscribe to the channel if you like the content. Follow me on Twitter. Twitter handle is linked down below. Now let's get into it. So when I first saw this on Instagram yesterday and tweeted it out, I gave it a little mind blown emoji because my mind was a little blown. Here we have David Yu shaking hands with a, a top ranking official from Alibaba in a signing ceremony memorandum of understanding with a caption from David Yu that reads, looking forward to new partnerships and access into the wider Asia community, more VV fams. If you look at the picture, this is specifically with the Alibaba cloud division of the company. So like I said earlier, Alibaba is kind of like the Amazon of China. Uh, they have the biggest e-commerce uh, platform in Asia. Like Amazon, they're involved in pretty much everything. They have a payment system similar to PayPal called Alipay. They have an NFT marketplace that they started up. They also offer cloud services just like Amazon has Amazon Web Services. And Vivi already uses Amazon Web Services for cloud storage. So I guess you could say that Vivi is partnered with Amazon, right? Except that's not really the case. They're just using their cloud service. Matter of fact, here's a picture of Dan and Dave with members of the Amazon team from two years ago. It's captioned, awesome meeting up with Akomi. These guys are going to be big AWS cloud. So presumably this is when they were linking up with Amazon to integrate their cloud services. So just because they use Amazon web services doesn't mean that they have an official partnership with Amazon, right? Because if they did, that would be huge. Amazon is you know, a trillion dollar company. So now in my mind, there's nothing to suggest that this is anything more than Vivi using Alibaba's cloud services in Asia, the same way that they use Amazon's web services in you know, America and other territories. Now, maybe it's possible that this builds inroads to different types of partnerships, right? More than that. Like I said, uh, Alibaba does have an NFT marketplace. They do have Alipay. So maybe eventually they do utilize more features from Baba and build out more partnerships in uh, Asia. But for now, I am interpreting this as them using their cloud services the same way they use Amazon Web Services and not as some seismic shift, some huge, you know, partnership between Vivi and one of the biggest companies in the world, right? I think it's important not to get ahead of ourselves. Now, that being said, I do have one main takeaway from this that is bullish, right? And that is that this is another step towards localization. Here we have a tweet from the VV Meister saying, interesting times ahead. Who remembers the AMA in Mandarin? Oh, geez, do it takes time to build access into the wider Asia, Asian community was always the plan. So VV Meister's referring to some seeds that have been planted along the way and some, you know, signs that we've been seeing that this is where they're going. They're looking to expand into Asia. They've always said this. There was that AMA in Mandarin some time ago. Just last week, we had the major development of VV integrating different languages into the web app and, you know, the phone app. So that's something that everyone's been waiting for. It now looks like Everything's lining up for localization and this push into Asia, which is a big deal because Asia has something like 60% of the world population, a huge, huge uh, number of people over there. And that also tells us that we might have new verticals on the way like anime, right? They've been waiting for anime for the Asian community, right? They would not do that before localization. So now... That is my biggest takeaway 
from all of this, right? It's not the fact that Alibaba is going to do huge things with BV and this is some great partnership. It's that we're moving along towards localization, which is something to be, you know, celebrated and something that we've all been waiting for. I think we're set to see a big explosion in popularity with NFTs and Web3 gaming and everything in Asia. This article from Cointelegraph says that NFTs are the biggest on-ramp to crypto in Central and Southern Asia. I will say that I'm not really a fan of the way this information was delivered, right? In an Instagram post that kind of creates more questions than answers, right? It leaves us speculating and that kind of gets us into hype mode and oftentimes what we picture in our mind is is something greater than ends up actually happening so i would like them to more closely control the narrative and the information and just tell us exactly what this partnership is about before people start you know going into hype mode and uh, speculation mode so you know that's just kind of a stray thought my to summarize my takeaways from this, um, I think it's great to see a step towards localization. It's good to see the team building and expanding. I do not think this is a major partnership with Alibaba. I think that it's not going to amount to anything other than them using their cloud services. Um, but like I said, um, overall, I think it's a bullish development as it points towards expansion so let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below is this just a cloud service agreement or is it something much bigger as always i hope you enjoyed the content like and subscribe on your way out and i hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend stay happy stay healthy and stay safe